Okay, cool. So, um, feel free to use, use the okay. mouse to click around and stuff. Um, so, can you tell me what class you are taking for spring quarter 2016? Um, yeah, Lay's. Oh, no, no, for, for this. Okay, so you're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you're Sam, you're Sam. So, okay, okay. Um, no, I get it. Yeah. Um, you try to speak um, loud. Public speaking, cool. digital typography with lab. Okay. Um, and then printing technology with lab. Okay, cool. You can um, scroll down if you want. I know this is it's it's kind of weird because you're using a computer, but you can keep scrolling. Um, that's part of the pro the prototype. And college physics. Um. Great. Uh, for GRC three twenty eight, where and what time is the lab? Wait, wait. Oh, three twenty eight. It is at six ten to nine on Monday in building twenty six, room two thirteen. Great. How many units is GRC three twenty eight? Um, I don't know. And you can manipulate the, the prototype. You can yeah. You can just you can go in and you can okay. do stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, this looks good. Uh, oh, four units. Awesome. So you would like to see your schedule for Thursdays? Okay. Show me how you would do this. Wait, so your schedule, you want to see your schedule for Thursdays mm -hmm. this quarter. I got it. Show me how you would do that. Great. Um, you're doing a great job so far. Um, so next, you want to see what classes you took for fall quarter 2015. Show me how you would do this. Um, click this thing. Awesome. And then switch it. Great. Can you tell me what classes you're in? For this quarter? Mm -hmm. For fall 2015? For fall 2015, yeah. Yeah. So then I guess I'll just go back to the list view. Great. Intro to graphic communications, digital publishing systems, um, and digital photography. One thing I'd say is like, it's hard to tell if there's more stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, let me write that down. Like before, it, it it's like might, you scroll, but then yeah, it might just be uh, the nature of the prototype. Uh, I'll write that down. I'll make note of that. Cool. So um, now. You want to check your current degree progress. Where would you go to check this? Mm, current progress. Great. You are correct. Let me just navigate it for you. Go ahead and try now. Okay. Great. Can you explain to me what your current progress level is? 33%. Oh, sorry. Wait. Ooh. Yeah, can you explain to me what your current progress level is? Okay, forty yeah. percent. Okay, can you can you uh, further explain? Yeah, so I guess I'm ahead like one class or something. Okay. Can you tell me what classes you have taken? Oh, um, the, are the green ones done? I'd say those. <laughs> yeah, I think the green ones. Oh yeah, past classes. Awesome. Can you read off what, what you've taken? Can you tell me what classes you have taken so far? There's a lot of them. 101, 324, 211, 472, 328. Oh, I guess, okay, so 328 is currently enrolled. Okay. Um, 
And then 201, 101, 202, 203, 110, 134. That's it. Great. What classes are you currently in? 328, 218, and 121, 101. Hmm. Awesome. And what classes can you take next quarter? Um, 204, 319, 217, 403, 331, 338, 402, 118, 217, B2, A3, D area, except for 5. Okay. Um, so can you take a G, can you take a GE area C2 class? Can you explain to me? No. Why not? Um, I would say because I haven't taken a C1, but I don't know. It doesn't show like what activates that, basically, so I'm not sure. Okay. But you can take it, though. Yeah. But I mean, I know it's like... Sweet. So next... Um, you want to start planning for fall quarter 2016, so it's currently spring quarter 2016, so just um, try, I try to make the prototype so that way it's like current. Mm -hmm. So you want to start planning for fall quarter 2016, show me how you would do this. Um, for, wait, which quarter? For fall quarter fall. 2016. Okay. Great. So you want to take GRC 204, GRC 316, GRC 320. And English 145, go ahead and show me how you would plan for those courses. Okay. Clicking them and adding them. Great. Okay. Oh, oh okay, and then it shows you. In this one, what did you say? Um, three, GRC 316, I'll go through them again. Yeah, so 204, 316, GRC 320. 320. GRC 320. Yeah. Okay. So prerequisites are not met, so I can't add it. Okay. And uh, the last class we want to add is English 145, which is an area A3 GE. Okay. Oh, sweet. So, uh, great. So, how do you see what classes you have planned for fall quarter 2016? Can you read me those classes? 145, 204, 316. Okay. So, you now want to plan for winter quarter 2017. Show me how you would start planning for winter quarter 2017. Great. So can you can you uh, just tell me what you what you see on the screen? The list of available classes for winner. Does this screen, uh, does it confuse you at, at all? Hmm. No. I think the flows, like this makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, um, what are those, what are the green stripes mean? That the class is planned. Okay. No. Do you know what classes you're currently in right now? The green striped ones. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this current quarter or or for which quarter? Um, I thought I switched to winner. I don't know if that's just a glitch, but okay. Um, I thought so. This is for fall because it says fall, but okay. If it's confusing, um, I would like to know. If it's not, uh, if you think you understand it, then that's totally fine as well. Yeah. 
so it seems like these are planned for fall, but at the bottom it says planning for winter. So. Okay. Because I. So we can go back to the screen if if uh, right. if you're still Which screen? wondering. It's okay. okay so we're, we're done with that. Okay. So now. So now you want uh, you want to switch majors. Okay. Uh, you want to research changing majors from graphic communication to mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. Show me how you would do this. So, great. We could stop right there really quick. So, you are interested in how much longer it would take you to graduate if you switched to mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. Show me how you would find this information. Right here. So, can you tell me what, what's <laughs> saying to you? So, it looks like. If I took uh, 16 units each quarter, then I'd still be on track to graduate. Right. You can just um, click around, look at look at the go scroll to the top. Does this does all this make sense to you? What's going on here? Okay. Actually, here, I want to give you uh, my next question. Mm -hmm. So you're interested in what classes you've passed as a graphic communication student that will transfer over to mechanical engineering. Show me how you would find this information. Mm. I think right here with the major workflow and then... Can you tell me? Yeah, so let me just repeat the question. You're interested in what classes you've passed as a graphic communication major that will transfer over to mechanical yeah. engineering. So I mean, from so the key, yeah, it first says ignoring the key, to be honest, but now okay. that I know that it's there, it's like... So can you I tell me which classes that would transfer over? English. Okay. 134. That's, and then also I'm currently, okay, so the striped green, I guess, is um, currently in that, okay, so that makes more sense now from before, like, okay. when it was, when I thought it was those classes, but, mm -hmm. yeah, so those, when I finish them, so I'd also have 101 after this quarter. Great. All right, so um, let's go head over to the register tab. So you want to register for fall quarter 2016? Okay. When do you register? Thursday, May 12th, 2016, at 2 o'clock p.m. Great. How many units are you planning to take for fall quarter 2016? Um, 12. Um, do you have any classes you plan on taking? For fall quarter 2016, oh, yeah. can you please explain? Um, wait, what? Do you have any classes you plan on taking for fall quarter 2016? Yeah, in 145, 204, and 316. Great. Um, so show me how you would choose how you would choose sections you would like to take. Um. Yeah, I mean that one I think is a spiral, because I can find all the like kind of spiral. Oh. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, like this. Great, can you just kind of explain to me what's what's going on on this screen? <laughs> yeah, so it's breaking up all the classes. So for this one it says I've already selected a section. Wait. 
It looks like there's only one section for each of those. Okay. Um, and then for this one, there's. it looks like it automatically chooses for you. Um, and then for this one, two of four, it looks like it could also change to like a different professor. Okay. Um, and then for, okay. And yeah, then there's the lab also. And then for 316, one thing I'd say also is like, scrolling through it, like it's hard to know which one is a different class. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cause like it's pretty similar font, you know, for each like head section. Yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> yeah, for, so yeah, I get how to select the different selections. Yeah, of sections. course. Are you liking it so far? Yeah. Right. Would these be collapsible? Um, they will not be. Um, these designs, no. Right. Um, great. So you selected the courses and po uh, you selected the courses and possible course sections that you want to take. You've already selected them, so it's already been done. How would you find out possible schedules for fall quarter 2016? Possible courses for fall 2016. Oh, sorry. Possible possible schedules. Okay, schedules. Yeah. yeah. Like this. Oh, great. Okay. Can, can you tell me how many possible schedules are there to choose from? Um. Oh. Wait. One. Just one? Cool. So, <clears throat> you want to save Schedule 1 and name it Primary Schedule. Show me how you would do this. Like this, and then... Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so, just go ahead and uh, click on that Schedule 1 right there. So, okay. you want to just type it. So, go ahead and type on, the, uh, on that keyboard. Just oh, click the okay. keyboard. Click it. Okay. Click it again on done. Done. All right. Awesome. Great. So now that you have your schedule saved, mm -hmm. um, you're now ready to register for fall quarter 2016. So show me how you would go register for the classes that you have saved. Like this, but then registration is closed. So. Okay. Can you tell tell me more? Um, yeah, so I have five seconds. Okay, letters. cool. Great. Let me just unlock that really quick. So show me how you would register for those classes. Okay. Um, okay, so. Oh, okay. Great. So, um, can you tell me what's going on right now? Um, all the classes were successfully added. Yeah. Solid. And um, what can you do from this screen? I was going to say, it says they're in progress. Right? But if the quarter hasn't started, because like will those show up like as in progress on the rest of it? Um, write that down. And then, so you want me to describe what's on here? So yeah, it just shows me all the classes that I just added, the unit count, and then also if any failed, basically. So, right. Yeah. Sweet. So go ahead and view your schedule. So this basically shows that new schedule for Fall Quarter 2016. Great. Okay, cool. Um, so let's go back to that register tab. Mm -hmm. We're almost done. Go to the Fall Quarter 2000. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right, let's pause really quick. Um, so you decide that you want to take 16 units instead of 12 units. Okay. You want to take an area DGE. Uh, find an area DGE class and add it to your courses. All right. 
So what are you doing right now? Adding a area D G E. Sweet. Go ahead and just click on click on that one. Actually, that one's the one that works. This one. Uh, History two hundred one. Okay. Great. So you you want to you want to go ahead and register for you want to add this class and register for it. So I want you to go through that whole process. Get this class added to your schedule. All right. I will add it. Of course, add it. Uh, so then I just exit out, and then okay, yeah, and then just go through all the steps again. Okay, yeah, so it already has these. Uh, does not conflict, so that's good. So. Oh, yeah, select class. Ah, okay. So in theory, that would work? Okay. Yeah. You have register. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, so that concludes the today's nice. study. Great, you did a great job. Um, a lot of it was great. So I have some some uh, usability ratings before we finish. Mm -hmm. Be completely honest with these. Um, so on a scale from one to five, mm -hmm. one not being clear at all, three neutral, and five very clear, how clear was the information in the screens for guiding you through the tasks? Um. So on a scale from what do you one, mean by that? So, so on a scale from one to five, mm -hmm. one not being clear at all, three neutral, and I know, five. But what do you mean by clear. what the information on the screen is? What I'm saying. So how clear was uh, all the information that oh, yeah. was provided on these screens? Uh, how clear was it for guiding you through all the tasks? I'd say the info itself was good. Okay. Yeah. The one uh, thing. What What would you rate that on a scale from one to five? You can oh, do yeah. point. You can do point five as well if you want. Say four. Okay. Oh. Um, on a scale from one to five, one not at all satisfied, three neutral, and five very satisfied. Uh, how satisfied were you with your overall experience? Four. With this? And for the four on this, wait, this was the information. I'd say just because like a lot of the screens, like I feel like had a lot of stuff, like too much. Yeah. Okay. So. And how about for this this other one right here? The overall experience. Yeah. For four, I mean. Because it's like the overall experience, I mean, that's kind of like everything. It's so, everything, yeah. I mean, I'd say uh, that, like, the, the information is part of that, and then the um, the whole, like, the fact that the titles, or, like, the titles for each section aren't as big, so, like, as I was looking for, like, you know, if the next class is, like, hard to know, because yeah, it's the same size as that. This is great feedback, yeah. This, I just want you to be completely honest with it, because it helps me improve the designs. Yeah, for sure. Um, so on a scale from one to five, one being very difficult, three neutral, and five very easy. Mm -hmm. How easy or difficult was it you was it for you to find and complete the tasks? Um, I'd say a five on that. On a scale from one to five, not one being not at all confident, three neutral, and five very confident. How confident are you that you were able to correctly complete the tasks? Five. Yeah, they're all a little similar, but they're all a little bit different when it, when it comes to the, the usability of it. Mm -hmm. So I just have a couple more questions. Um, were, was there any feature or task that you saw um, that you especially liked? Um, yeah. I mean, I think the bubble flow charts were a really good idea. Okay. Because, um, like, yeah. the way it's done. In student center, so horrible. So, um, <laughs> other things that were really good. This. 
and being able to switch stuff like not like going up a level or something just being able to like s- switch between it and stuff like okay. I think the context there was really good great um, yeah anything else that kind of stood out to you that you really really liked um, if you sometimes you can't navigate towards certain things I can help you get, get there um No, I mean, I think those are the... Wait, what was the question? Sorry. Um, was there any feature or task that you saw that you especially liked? Oh. Any feature, like like any any screen? I don't know why this is not working. Right I told you, the bubbles, right? The bubbles, yeah. I like the day view thing. Um, one thing that I like would be push that to your own calendar on your phone. So I feel like reproducing the calendar in the app itself is a bit pointless. Um, like, I mean, you might as well just like have it push, okay. basically. Great. So was there, was there any feature or task that you especially did not, did not like? I know you already talked about the uh, the way class are um, they need to be a different color. Mm-hmm. So uh, I have that down. Is there anything else that needs that needs change that you felt like you just didn't really care for? Yeah. Um, another thing is like there's a lot of green, and I feel like green is like you know kind of a sacred color. Okay. Like. You don't know what is like an activated thing or like. So you had a tar. Hard time with that. It was like the Cal Poly color, but like I feel like yeah. just using more like something muted or something. Yeah, like a, a lot of people green. actually ask me, or am I using Cal Poly? I actually did not use any Cal Poly stuff. I just wanted to use green okay. as as the, the color scheme for this. Yeah. But that's a good. That's really good feedback. Is there um, anything else that you didn't really care for? That they weren't collapsible. Uh, the collapsible uh, on the courses when you were registering for classes? Yeah, especially there. Like, I feel like being able to sift through it really quickly. Um, and it looks like they would be collapsible too, based yeah. on like the appearance of it. So. Okay. Um, would you add or remove any of the features? Um. No, I, I think everything that is in there is good. So, Great. Yeah, and I like having everything in like one spot. Yeah. Okay. So, in three words, can you describe your emotion or overall feelings towards today's designs? Um, very positive. I'd say if this replaced Student Center, then uh, like everyone would be very happy. Okay. <laughs> So yeah. Uh, any any other words that describe kind of your overall feeling towards completing the tasks? Um, definitely, like a few seconds of confusion. Okay. The understanding that key. Once I understood that key, like everything made a lot more sense. Um, yeah. Cool. Anything else? Yeah. Um, Oh, so when you just okay, so before they're like actually yeah, before this. Awesome dude. Well, um, thanks for, for doing this. Yeah, for sure. Me. Um It looks good. Yeah, I'm glad that you that you did this. Um